There are many moments that change our life. And today I want to talk about a moment that changed my life and led to me becoming a teacher. And I want to show how you, as, as part of the Kangaroo English community, can change the lives of other people and get rewarded for doing it. I have had a lot of different jobs in my life, but my first job was working as a magician when I was 10 years old. And after that, when, when I was 14, I got a job working at KFC. And then I worked in a variety of weird and wonderful jobs uh, as, a, as a designer, a programmer, a builder, and, and even a bicycle courier. But in 2007, I was working freelance as a graphic designer and animator. And I was working for a company in the UK. Now, in that industry, in the, um, the kind of graphic design industry, in the industry I was, I was working in, it's quite normal to take a long time to pay your invoices. So I'd been working for, for more than a year and, and I hadn't been paid. So I was living off credit cards and it was a normal, it had been a normal part of my career to work, to work in this way. But then one morning I got a phone call from the company that I was working for and they told me that they had gone bankrupt. No money. Finished. And after, after three years of waiting and all of the legal um, activity about the closure of the business, I received a check for 43 pounds and 41 pence. And that was when I really understood the value of money. Money is a piece of paper that you exchange for a piece of yourself. And I realized that I had exchanged a big piece of myself for something that I wasn't passionate about. And so I had that check framed with some Zimbabwe dollars, a one Zimbabwe dollar note and a $100 trillion note to remind me that money is just paper and to remind me never to trade that, that piece of myself for something that I wasn't passionate about ever again. Now, at that moment, my wife was also looking for a change. So we did something drastic. We sold our house, we sold our car, we sold all of our furniture, we basically sold all of our possessions. And the only thing that we had to show for 30 years of life on this earth was about six cardboard boxes. And we bought a one-way ticket to Mauritius because I wanted to follow my passion of telling stories and making beautiful images. And I was inspired by the amazing photography of the Brazilian photographer Sebastião Salgado. And, and that's what I wanted to do. That was going to be my, my new project. So we rented a house in, in the middle of the island of Mauritius and every day I would just wake up in the morning and go out with my camera and walk around and just take photographs of Mauritius, the place. But, but something was missing. 
Now, when, when, when most people think about the island of Mauritius, they think about beaches and five-star hotels and luxury. But like every other country on earth, that was only half of the story. Because the longer that I lived there and the more photographs that I took, I realized that there was one thing that was making all of this luxury possible, and that was inequality. And I realized that the real story wasn't Mauritius the place, it was the people. photographed families and workers and sick people and prostitutes and drug addicts. And I saw that there was one thing that made the difference between a life of luxury and a life of poverty, and that was education. And it's the same story all over the world. Education or, or lack of education changes people's lives. Well-educated people are happier and healthier and richer. And education can even help to save the planet. Climate change is the greatest challenge facing humanity right now. And to be clear, this isn't about the future of the planet, because the planet will always be here. This is about the future of us as a human species. And one of the greatest challenges is that Earth just cannot support so many people, especially with the predictions for future population growth. So we need people to have less babies. And education can help with that. This chart from UNESCO shows that in countries where only a small percentage of girls go to secondary school, those families have between five and six children. Whereas in countries where a high percentage of girls enroll in secondary school, they have between one and two children. And incredibly, this is cheaper and would have a bigger impact on climate change than any other form of climate change action. And the key is simple. It's education. And I want to offer you the opportunity to be part of that change. I want you to help me to build a school. Now, I have already raised more than $10,000 towards building this school, but we still have a long way to go. And so I am looking for 400 very special volunteers who are willing to raise 100 US dollars each to finish the fundraising to build this school for some of the poorest children in the world. And by doing that, you will not only directly impact this generation, but every other generation after, and even make an impact on the future of climate change. 
but of course I want you to be rewarded for your efforts. So if you become part of this project, then you will be invited to a private telegram group where you can interact with me and others in the project. You will also be invited to private live streams and I will be selecting certain people to have private one-on-one -on -one English classes with me. But best of all, next year, you will be the first people on the planet to be invited to try a brand new Kangaroo English product that is launching next year. If you want to volunteer to become part of this project, then you should go to this web address, kangarooenglish.com forward slash volunteer, where you can leave all of your details and hopefully be selected to participate and make real change in the world. I'm Christian, this is Kangaroo English. I'll see you in class. Thank you.